All right. So welcome to the first Shoreline Sprint Review of this work cycle. Um, so um, I haven't seen one of these done in the in a regular dev cycle, so I'm not sure exactly um, uh, if I should have prepared something a little more formal in terms of um, like lists of things we need to go through. Um, but we do have the board, which I can share. Um, and then I think from there, Alex, maybe you could just walk through what's been done. Um, and uh, let me just share this. And, um, and just to start out uh, with uh, some of the admin things that have happened during this sprint, uh, is that uh, we had one ticket to discuss how permanent IDs are being handled in Shoreline, and we have a meeting scheduled for that, but that meeting falls in the next uh, sprint cycle. So um, nothing, nothing else has happened on that. Um, I do have the recordings from the, uh, uh, the kickoff meeting as well. Um, and this recording will also be put into YouTube and then I will write blog posts uh, where this will all be posted. Um, so that'll be one way that we can communicate out what's been happening. Um, and I think from there, I will hand it over to Alex to talk about um, what's been done during the cycle. And then we'll go on. So kind of the biggest success was getting uh, the Helm deployments working and doing the, um, the persistent volume claim configuration. So we, we both have, or, well, Thor can correct me, but UCSB has a, has a staging site set up via Helm, and I think UCSD does as well. We do. Uh, the, so that was kind of the, um, the primary kind of completed work, then a lot of the other tickets are kind of more or less nearly finished. Uh, I was focusing on the theming and branding and I ran into some kind of slowdowns because I had to deal with back and forth with campus a bit, but that's coming along and then uh, Matt and Vivian are working on kind of figuring out the geo server architecture and how best we should uh, do the our initial ingest functionality um, for the MVP product. And so probably again sometime next sprint we'll be setting up a call with some of the other institutions who have already done this and seeing if we can at least do some knowledge sharing if not uh, code sharing. And then the contact form was another thing that uh, Ian Lessing was doing, and there's an open PR for that. So it's, I looks like it'll be ready to be merged today or tomorrow. And I think those are the in progress tickets, right? Did I miss anything, Tom? You mentioned the permanent IDs, right? Uh, yes, I did. I did. Yeah. So would you like me to unshare and is there anything you wanted to actually show? Um, we could pull up the... Here, I'll stop sharing while I do. Let's see. I can pull up the staging server. I don't think there's much on there. I don't know if it'll be very interesting. <laughs> if I can find it, the... It's know, not loading any data now. Um, hi, probably, hi. It's probably worth showing, but it's not lo loading any data now. And I guess there's sort of an open question while we work on the ingest of local content, whether there's any interest in pulling in uh, external content the way we did for the um, review site. The, sorry, not the review site, the, um, the gap analysis deployment. Um. Right, yeah, I'm not sure what, 
I'm not sure yeah, exactly what we want in the staging site, because yeah, as Tom said, right now it's entirely empty, uh, but it's running on our, on our uh, EKS infrastructure, which is, which is the exciting bit. And yeah, it, 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 there isn't really much much point in having data in and until it's data ingested in the in the way that the MVP will be ingesting data, because currently the only way to get in is just um, throw the, the the JSON at it, and that's not how we expect our librarians to have to do it. So uh, that's why we didn't bother putting anything in the staging server. Uh, immediately. So, so just a clarification. Um, so, what what we're looking at there is that, like, say the uh, the master code version, or is that the UCSB's site version? Uh, Tom, or, I assume you deployed master. Yeah, Tom. The answer is both. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I so guess I still can't visualize. Both staging servers should always be deploying master. And the way that we change, uh, and this is a surfliner pattern, the way that we switch configuration across campuses is with environment variables. So they, we should always be deploying, or at least targeting deployment of the same code across campuses. Um, That's how Starlight and, works as well. Um, we yeah. have a shared code base, and then uh, any differences are like um, configuration switches that are uh, set in the environment when we deploy it. Right, and and specifically the goal of staging, and this is something that I'm actually working on now, is to always have master deployed to staging. So whenever we merge to master and a build is successful as a result, then we should see that build roll out to staging automatically. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, thanks. Okay, is there um, anything else that needs to be demoed at this point? Not that I'm aware of, Tom. Ours just looks exactly like what you just saw, so. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, exactly, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't have, like, I don't, the, the theming stuff isn't quite, like, in a place to demo it. It's, it's like, I got it compatible with Bootstrap 4, and, like, the main page is is you can start to see like the the colors and stuff, but it's really not um, tweaking everything. Is is and actually making it all look as it should according to the UCSB branding guidelines this has yet to be done. So I'm not going to demo demo that today. Okay, right. All right, um, so anything anybody else wants to bring up at this point? Okay, um, so tomorrow at 2 p.m. we'll be having our, um, our sprint planning session. Um, and I guess we have a, uh, I guess we have a uh, stand up at 10.30 as well. I guess we do that anyway, even though uh, tomorrow's the first day of the sprint. We won't have done the planning yet. Um, we still should. Should we still meet at ten thirty? Yeah, I think that there's every reason to want to meet at ten thirty, especially because we haven't done the planning yet. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Okay. Okay. No, that's that's fine. That's it's good to know. Um, all right. Great. So I will see you folks all tomorrow at ten thirty again at two p.m. So I will. Thanks, stop. everyone. Thanks all. Thanks.